Just after midnight on April the 15th, 1912, Harold Cottam, the wireless operator on the Cunard steamship Carpathia, was getting ready to turn in. Harold loved this job. He used to sit up late at nights listening to transmissions from other ship and responding to the other radio operators. He passed the radio Marconi school with flying colors. This night, as he was getting ready to untie his shoes, he was sitting there with his headphones on, getting ready to take them off, and at that moment, 1225, he received the first SOS ever sent. It was from the Titanic. They had struck an iceberg, and they were sinking. Harold confirmed with the Titanic's operator, and then he rushed out on deck, ran into a ship's officer, and together they burst into Captain Rostrum's cabin. The captain was rather upset because you just didn't burst into Captain's cabins this way. But when Harold told him that he received this message that the Titanic was sinking, Rostrum asked him, are you absolutely sure? And Cotton said, absolutely sure. Rostrum immediately responded. He called out the stewards with blankets, the chefs with coffees and sandwiches in the galley, the engine room crew all turned out, all three shifts of the stokers turned out some in their night shirts, some in their long john underwear. They all shoveled and stoked the fires in the boilers like madmen. The chief engineer even hung his hat over the gauge so that the, they couldn't see that the needle was creeping into the red. The designers of the Carpathia specified that her top speed would be only 14 knots. She was already an old ship, nine years old. This night she reached 14 and a half. 15, 15 and a half, 60. She eventually made 17 knots on her dash of 58 miles to the sinking Titanic. Nobody knew the old Carpathia could pound so hard.